hello guys welcome to another video in the series of coding we have a very interesting problem with us it's called jewels and stones and they are telling us that you are given strings j representing the type of stones that are jewels and s representing the stones you have each character in s is a type of stone you have you want to know how many of the stones you have are also jewels the letters in j are guaranteed distinct and all characters in j and s are letters and letters are case sensitive so for example the jewels array consists of small a and capital a so these are our jewels and the stones that we have is represented by the string capital s and the stones that we have are small a capital a and b so we have one small a and small a is also a jewel so that means we have one jewel moving on we have two capital a so capital a is again a jewel so we have two more jewels so one plus two becomes three and small b is not a jewel so we have only three jewels moving on to the next example j is equal to z small z so that is a jewel but the capital s which is the stones that we have so that is capital z so that means we do not have any jewel and we have to return zero because small s does not equal to capital z so they are different stones so we don't have any of the jewels so this problem is a very simple problem we have to just check over the string s that we have that is our string so we'll have to just iterate over it and check if the stones that we have are also present in the jewels so let's do that so for int i equal to 0 i less than s dot size i plus plus we have to iterate over our string s so easier version of this is simply you can do uh, char c present in s that means for all the characters that are going to be present in the string s we will have to iterate over so let's do this and we have to check if this character is in present in our string j so if it is present then we will have to count it so we will declare int count equal to zero and if it is present we will just do count plus plus so suppose if we don't know how to check if a character is present in the string or not then we can just simply ask our dear friend google so find if a character is in string c plus plus and we can install grepper instead uh, extension so that will easily return us the code also and we can copy that code and paste it here so this is what our google friend has told so in place of s dot find i will have to give cares c so and my s is the string so i'll have to give capital s dot find c c is my character if that is not equal to so this is not needed std dot is not needed we can just give string and pause so if this is true then in that case i will have to increment my count but see i will have to give capital j here so i have to search for all the characters that are present in my string s if that character is also present in my jewel then i will have to increment count so that's it guys this is the simple code that is there and i can run and hopefully this should work let's see so it's working we'll submit and see if it's working so this is an accepted solution and quite simple question also 